Hey people, um, this is a video to all my peacenik friends out there. It was bas basically inspired by you, James, 1978. Thank you, you, James, um, no personal offense intended. But you write in one of your, the red boxes on your video that far too many British su support the occupation. I think um, the occupation, both in Iraq and Afghanistan, need to be supported, if necessary, for the next 40 years or even longer. Why? Just think about a few likely consequences of a retreat of NATO troops from these countries. Let's let's say let's name five. Number one, every one of the hundreds of thousands of local men and women who worked with us as civilians or within the rebuilt national militaries and police forces would either have to flee their home or fear most brutal reprisals from our common enemies. Number two. Sectarian strife and ethnic violence could soon re-erupt among the fragile and fragmented societies of the respective nations. Um, this could eventually lead to a bloody civil war. And number three is based upon it, in such an unstable environment, in a failed state, like for example we see it in Somalia or we have seen it in Lebanon, um, terrorist groups could find easily a refuge. Um, number four, nearby countries could be set ablaze by sweeps of Islamist militants who would be bolstered by a so-called victory against the coalition, I think here especially of uh, the nuclear power Pakistan. And number five, Iraq could fall to the mullahs if they are smart enough to act as the guardian of the formerly more marginalized Shi majority via their um, radical proxies, I think of uh, Muqtar Sadr's militia, for example. Um, so, my question is, you James and all others who are, do not support the occupation, can you please explain why you want it to be ended and how? Thanks a lot.